Hey, everybody. Oh, damn. Right. Hey, everybody. I usually have to do it twice. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. The usual uh, wrong cord plugged in. Here's the, uh, here's the wallpaper for today. Very classy, very tasteful. Humor joke. I don't know how to pronounce this. Trap, trapang, trapong, trapong, squared, two, the sequel to trapang, trap, I'm sure that they'll tell me, I'll hit the title screen, trapang, two, okay, cool, cool, now I know what to, what to call it, it's also the name of the studio, okay, it's everything then, yeah, I loved fear, uh, this is supposed to be a gritty aughts horror shooter. Because now the aughts were so long ago that we can have nostalgic games for them. Trapanga. Trapevanging. My trangling. This is going to be scary. Do not get scared. I'm telling you not to. I feel like ah, I have to floss. I have a little thing in my tooth. 80. Black. Wait, is that? Yeah, horizontal. That doesn't look like great motion blur. I'm not going to trust it. I mean, V-Sync should do this for me. Custom. Unlock insane settings. Insane. Insane. Okay, TAA is fine. Insane. Wait, <laughs> what is insane anti-aliasing even? I think anti-aliasing's pretty much been fixed. Oh, Reese, thank you for the sub. I got a story here. Hold on a minute. Whoa. What? You're a hero. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Reese Clark has an interesting story. I was walking my dog and an old woman collapsed in the street. The person beside them rang an ambulance and I asked if there was anything I could do to help. The ambulance service on the phone said to find a defibrillator if I can get one before the ambulance arrives. So I tied up my dog and sprinted for about four minutes straight to the nearest pharmacy. Said it was an emergency and asked them to hand me one. I sprinted back. Dang. You did your part. That's awesome. Hey, little Tim. How's it going? We got a we got a hero. You know what? E's for the hero. E. e. There goes my he. E. e. Oh wait, hold on. There goes my hero. <laughs> Maybe I'm okay. I'm borderline overdoing it, but that's awesome. Well done, and thank you for the sub. You're paying me to tell that story. Ridiculous. Um. Yeah. Hero squared. Huh. We don't... Lem mm. Epic. Insane shadows. Insane textures. Insane effects. Insane carnage. Epic prop detail. Wait, what? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, oh, that's interesting. What? That, there's a... There's a... Yeah, I guess that's a thing. I don't know. You have to, like tune the image back. What's weird about anti-aliasing is when edges in motion are straight up darker than they are when they're standing still. So this, the whole image tends to like brighten and darken depending on whether or not it's moving. Yeah, that, that's a weird situation. Uh, sorry to do this. I've just ratcheted everything to maximum. My heart rate is pounding and I'm sure yours is too. But I, I have to floss. I have to floss real quick. I'll be right back. Alright. Now those are clean teeth. I'll, I, I probably need DLSS, but let's see how it is. Oh, no. Rage mode? I already like this game's style. I'm just gonna take it down the middle. Fear was not an easy game. The first Fear? I remember it being actually pretty... Pretty, pretty rough. Shove me around a little bit. So 
I don't know if they're going directly with that for their inspiration here. We'll see. What is this game exactly? We're going to find out together. I've actually... I have tried to not learn a lot about it. Aside from kind of generally getting a, a fix on its art artistic uh, inspirations. Never played the Fear games? Oh, I've got to play through them on stream sometime. That's another series the consoles unfortunately claimed, but there's there's still a lot of good stuff going on there. Fear game subathon. That's that's a good idea. That could that you could roughly maybe do in, in twenty four hours. Maybe not in addition to reading a book. Hey, what's up, lurker? Yeah, I gotta. Oh shit! You hear this? You hear this? I may have turned it up a little too loud. Strings? This kind of reminds me of pausing Max Payne. It's a very odd sound. Definitely a post-matrix soundtrack. Or a post-matrix reloaded. Kind of kind of sound. Alright. Alright, we gotta We gotta go learn slow-mo powers and shoot at monsters, I guess. Shoot at tack dudes. I feel like, man, I feel like my sensitivity's got to go down even more. Trying to get a... F yeah, the up and down sensitivity needs to come up like one. It's not quite the same. a little weird. Sorry, guys. Am I, do I have it backwards? I do. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, wise vertical. You're supposed to, uh, you're supposed to pay attention in school, kids. Okay, it'll just be two and two and I'll deal with it. There's something there's something wacky going on, but I'll figure it out. Ooh. Gamers don't look up. Well, I mean, yeah, that honestly, like So by that by itself already makes it a very odds kind of game. That like the game is gonna be like this. Yeah, but at least it's widescreen. At least it's designed for widescreen. You know what this kind of reminds me of too, even though I barely played it, is uh, Condemned. Condemned 1. I guess 2 was pretty sick, but 1, one was pretty special. appears when you are in shadow. Okay, so I want it to be lit up. That indicates that I'm hidden. 
Got it. Be messing up these tack dudes very soon. Gonna have some kind of brain power. Some kind of fireball that may or may not just be a shotgun. <laughs> I guess that's the other thing about aught's intensity is it was just like guns. Lots of guns. the shotgun from John Wick 4 in this game. They have flame shotgun shells in uh, System Shock. And they even call them Dragon's Breath. It's pretty cool. Uh, I guess that way's green. Uh-oh! <laughs> Dude saying the F word. Sounding really angry. Angie dudes saying swears. Oh, Dragon's Breath is a real ammo name? Oh, okay. Badass. Oh, there's no dude that's like looking away. Nice little, uh, nice little crawl about. But now I have a lock pick. Ooh, ooh, little slurpy there. Little sploopy slurpy. We got some ragdolls, huh? I keep you. Oh, awesome. I can just boot people now. Uh. Uh. <laughs> ah, the simple pleasures. Oh. Got lore. What's this? Another day, another dollar. Spent the whole fucking day literally watching paint dry in the security station. Worst fucking job ever. Taking orders from these goddamn nerds. Shitty food. Can't even take a piss without cameras watching. Makes me almost miss getting shot at or blown up. WTF, really, have I finally lost it? Just keep it together, man. Just two more weeks until the contract's over, then I'm a free man. Gotta play it real safe now. Don't want to get caught up in any incidents and get stuck here any longer. I booked tickets to Vegas or something, but all the goddamn travel websites are blocked. Fuck! Alright. Alright then. Do you have a dedicated kick button? Good question. Oh yeah, can I do... Can I do Hong Kong Kung Fu kicks? Dude. Sprint, flashlight, grenade. Slide, focus, cloak, interact. Melee? What else? Two? I'm gonna have to swap some of this around, I think. T mod no clip. There's a melee. Huh! Yeah, there is a kick. Boot! Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, if you sprint, you kick. Huh. If you slide, you still pistol whip. What what was that? What what am I doing? Oh, okay, it's just a pistol whip, alright. Yeah, boosh. All right. Is it always the left left leg? Hold on. Damn it, it is. It's always left. Damn. It's hoping there could be a Duke Nukem <laughs> double boot situation. All right, all right. Hold on. Let me let me balance the audio a little. I don't want it to sound too compressed. I do typically like it loud, though. Oh, oh come on. You need to your 
slide is its own button. All right. Smart. So I let's see here. I'm going to have to play a little bit to see which buttons I want to throw on the mouse. Let's see here. Adam, you daft dodging Neanderthal. I can't tell. Or I can tell you're not doing your fucking part. You need to take your ass down to maintenance and fix those goddamn steam pipes. We got some ragdolls? Yeah. It's the simple things in games. Lore pickups, ragdolls, booting stuff. The damn steam pipes. can see your flashlight. Okay, good news. You can boot open the door. Well, that's interesting. If you're next to a door, you don't have to be sprinting to boot. It'll just boot instead of pistol whip. It's got smart AI boot tech. Okay, I guess I'm just standing there. Neat. I probably should be opening doors a little more daintily until I know what I'm doing. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is where I came from, right? Oh, I guess maybe I backtrack now that I have gun. I have the power of weapon. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna save. Oh! Interesting. There's no quick save. Okay. I wanted to test. I wanted to see the AI react to the flashlight without suffering the consequences of that happening. But all right, we're gaming now. We're game time. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. What the fuck. Holy shit. Holy shit, I murdered him. God, these guns sound ridiculous. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Okay. Huh, 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 All right, all right, all right. Okay, all right. You've got slow-mo, you've got cloak, you've got a slide, you've got gun, you've got boot. Yeah, they give you the powers right away. Like, no long-winded, you have a suit now. Just two, gun two buttons. Go kill. What are your thoughts on Final Fantasy so far? I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. It's, uh, it's, it's God of War. <laughs> they made a God of War game. Uh, but I'm really enjoying it so far, so... You know, fair play. I think it's like a more mechanically open... Well, shouldn't say that. There's already the opportunity to hit more buttons in 16 than in God of War. More meaningful buttons. Like, God of War kind of has an input cap where you're just... you're. It's like kind of turn-based if if you speed your mind... Like, if you speed your, your game sense up enough. Ooh. But 16, I guess 16 could be similar, but those beats happen much faster. But it's not as fast as a straight up Devil May Cry. So it's like a, it's a you know, it's kind of in the middle. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So yeah, it's uh I'm into the storytelling, I like the setting, I like the gameplay. The RPG layer is, is real light, but I'm okay with that. 
I'm enjoying myself. And Final Fantasies, I guess some of them have been somewhat technical, but it's definitely not something that I consider a must for the series. They've been very loose with mechanic and the RPG aspects of the game. So I consider this totally like on brand and in bounds to be celebrated even. Wow, the mystery of steam. Can I just, all right. I, um, I do, I guess I, if I have hopes, Watch my back. Move it up. Got it. Covering you. I hope the story remains good because I'm enjoying it so far. Oh, shit. Oh, Christ. Shit. Wasn't there another one? Oh, man, the flare. That's so sick. I like how I instantly have full ammo for it. That's not a concern, okay. This is not a looting kind of shooter, then. Yeah, I'm curious. It'll be interesting. Like, is, the, is, there, is there a renewed appetite for premium single-player experiences? That's almost what this game seems to... Uh, I guess Diablo 4 kind of has that, too. Although, I feel like it's got... It's so interconnected. Oh, wrong button. Shit, dude. Oh. Where the hell are you? Oh. Biggest shotgun. <laughs> Hell yeah, Shadow. Thanks for the sub. 20 months is nothing to sneeze at. In fact, if you sneeze 21 times, you'd probably be very concerned. That might be uh, something worth going to the doctor over. I think Goldeneye was the first time I saw this shotgun. It was in Goldeneye, right? Or maybe there was just some big, chunky, rectangular thing with a curved, stocky bit on the back that I'm remembering. There was lore, but I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that there's not a whole lot of uh, maybe not a whole lot of hidden pickupables. room with the blinky light and a grisly murder. Oh yeah, Golden I didn't use real gun names. Oh man, I don't remember what it was called in that game. Oh, yeah. Act fast, thank you for the hype chat. Is that the... Is that maybe the uh, the audio line of an audio log you could pick up in this game when it came out in 2003? No, this is more like a... Golly. 
This is like a 2005-6 kind of jam. How many fellas have you trepanged so far? I would say one fel one dude was fully trepanged. I slid into him and turned to the side while I was sliding in slow motion and emptied like half a clip into him while his ragdoll was spinning. That was heavy shit. And I'm about to get a cyber katana, I think. <laughs> I got a medal for finishing the tutorial. No, we're going to leave the cyber katana behind. All right, that's cool. When will Barney talk for the hype chat thing? You mean like use an AI Barney voice to read everyone's hype chat? So I actually looked at it um, because Twitch Twitch's internal alerts overlay supports uh, hype chats. That's very edgy. But, uh... You can't have the body of the super chat be in the alert text, so it wouldn't show up. It just says, like, so-and-so bought a $1 super chat. Now, they were using, like, variables in that message, so it's possible that there is a variable that represents the actual text of the super chat, which is, I would think, the whole point uh, is so that people see it. Um, but, I don't know. That seems a little weird, right? Is that weird? I don't know. That may not be weird. Alright. Grab enemy. Oh, that's sick. Grenade. Grenade! Oh my god! What did I just do? Boom! Oh shit. Oh my god. That's Trepang. Oh, you mean Bar- Ah, Barney. That Barney. Sorry. I was like, oh, like an AI Barney the Dinosaur to read your message. Dude, I don't know why my mind went there. Yes, Half-Life Barney reading the Super Chats. Or, or doing line reads for Super Chats. Yeah, I mean, I use Stream Elements and they have not updated anything to, to recognize or, or like integrate to a new API. I'm not sure that they will. Uh, I get the feeling that... I don't know. I guess... I guess I don't... I don't... Eh. It doesn't feel like Twitch is going to go out of their way to update all the third-party overlay apps. And it also doesn't feel like the third-party overlay apps are going to be hyper-motivated to jump on any new feature Twitch introduces and make sure that there's support for it. So, there might be a bit of a time gap here. Uh, I could also just move all my alerts to Twitch but you can only have a maximum of 100 variations. And I'm I'm more on the order of like 250 for both subs and uh, and audio. But maybe it's time to, I don't know, maybe it's time to just take the randomness out. It's fun for me, but I don't think it means much to, oh shit. Elevator. Okay, those explode. I could have assumed that probably. God. Dude, you could just throw them like ragdolls. That's so great. Ah, oh. Katie, thank you very much for the 101 months. Appreciate it deeply. How's life? This game rules, by the way. Laptop up there? <laughs> yeah, this game's pretty rad. All right, let's hit a button. Dee. 
But yeah, objective marker's real clean. Simple. This kinda this kinda reminds me of bright memory. Just those uh those intense action experiences. Whoops! Oh, right. <laughs> what? Who did that? Oh. oh. All right. It's about time that that started happening. Understood, understood. That's where we're at now. Tell <laughs> oh. an elite hazard unit. What? Why did I do that? Let's see your budgeting. Your recent security changes grew into a logistical nightmare. You've delegated funding to hiring more security personnel, cameras, ID scanners, laser gates? I told you to queue these things over the course of a couple months, not all at once. You got the entire Eastern Wing backlogged on much needed scientific funding. And to put it frankly, Site 14 security defenses are fine as is. We've had zero incidents in the past three years. And do this nonsense now. The longer this goes on, the larger the blemish this will have on my spotless record. Can can can't have laser gates blemishing my spotless record. More lore, all right. Operation Bright Star. Talon Company is a black operations unit acting under direct orders from the CEO. In the event that Site 14 is compromised, Talon Company will execute Operation Bright Star immediately. Once the operation has begun, you will have exactly 30 minutes to extract all civilian personnel. Any remaining civilian personnel in the facility will be designated targets by Talon and will be terminated on site. Operation Bright Star is authorized by the Board of Directors to deny assets from falling into enemy hands. Any interference will be neutralized with extreme prejudice. So sick. That's the that's the coolest and hardest kind of prejudice. More intel! You're kidding me! What the hell? Operation Bright Star has been initiated in case that was uh, that was up in the air for anyone. I had a, had a whole other lore pick up. The photo was nice. I like those little accents. I always like it when Resident Evil lore's lore pickups do that. Shit. Whoop, that's not good. That's cool. Oh. Rest in pepperonis, my man. Dust in the wind. Whoops. <laughs> I think I just I think I smashed something just by stomping past it. Ah. I'm going to grab someone.
still figuring it out. Okay, got that flubber in his shoes. Got the got the zoom juice. Oh. I'll take that intel. Awesome. Gentlemen, I gather you together to examine a subject with anomalous properties unlike any we've seen before. Subject 106. Reportedly, he is able to turn invisible at will, dodge bullets, and possesses superhuman strength. Take this with a grain of salt, if you will, as it was reported by the not-so-scientifically-minded security personnel who captured him. The subject will be arriving at the loading bay at 1600 hours today. You will each be escorted there by armed security out of an abundance of caution, nothing to be worried about, and make initial observations. I look forward to seeing you there. Let's make history today. Oh, yeah. Dopeness history, maybe. While I'm running around shooting everybody with backflip. Oh, man, what if you could do backflips? It's fine. I don't need backflips. We're good. I'm not mad. Everything's, everything's sick. Everything's sick and totally rad. Weapon part. A pistol? Huh. Do I just. Wait. Now I want a pistol. Eh? Hmm. Oh. 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 Okay. Hey. All right. Okay. There's gun foo in this game? Wait, how? Can you like aim independently of the camera or something? Or are there like takedown animations where you're gun cutting? Oh shit. Shit. Damn, bro. Wait, what? Oh, ah. Oh. Okay, hold on. They rolled up on me real hard. I wasn't ready for that. I wonder if they can see my laser sight. God damn it. Already, dude. That's pretty awesome. Cover my door and I'm covering you. Hey. <laughs> the single the single handed reload? That's rad. Oh, okay. Suppressor and laser. Why is it red though? Eh? Maybe, maybe it's like that's how they mark it so that you should pay attention to it? Yeah, the, the lighting's real fun. The strobing on the guns and stuff like that in, in dark rooms, especially in slow-mo with bodies flying around. It's pretty beautiful. Hello, Robo. Subject 106, that's who we are. Here, dick, dick kicking is a good tactic. All right. Subject 106. Observation begins. Subject, subject has a fascination with kicking dicks. Subject draws dicks on the wall and then kicks them repeatedly. 
The cycle begins again. Capture means you will be forced to complete your original mission. Is any key to continue? Alright. Can't get captured, I guess. So I'll run down this concrete pipe hallway. Maybe brood a little bit. Uh. I'm door kick him. Don't do it, I'm gonna flip out. I'm gonna get mad. God damn. Oh, that's like no time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the tactical lean on my man. All stanced out and ready to fire. There's no aim down sight. It's kind of nice. Oh! Big guy stopped me. Or maybe I hit the railing. I don't know if there's any, like, top down assassinations. That'd be awesome. That was kind of a dick shot. Consider the dicks kicked. Sort of. I'm still... I'm still in the quest for a, a real solid testicle annihilation. I'm sure we'll get there. You know? So... Oh, shit. Wow. It's... Uh, man. It's kind of easy to lose enemies in the clutter. Yeah. This is this is for sure uh spiritually inspired by fear. God damn! God damn! Ow! Oh. Damn, okay. Hmm. you right away. Out. 
missed. There we go. Oh, okay. The health packs do not refill you to full. Oh, that's cool. You can just grab them from the front. That's fantastic. Does it use one of my grenades? It does not. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. What the fuck? Do we have any men left? Negatives, sir. All squads are down. We're the only ones left. Fuck it. Yeah, that's a good Chivo. I didn't really deserve it there. Maybe there was something else that happened in that, in that fight where I got that. But yeah, throwing somebody and then killing them with a headshot, that's so good. The fact that the game recognizes that. Jesus Christ. This is too much. I can't handle. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Oh! God damn. Holy crap. Where is everybody? What the fuck? What the f Holy shit. Fucking hell. God damn it. Ow, fuck. Why wasn't I sliding? That was weird. I need one of their guns. Nope, not that one. God damn it. Where there was a much better gun on the ground. I've given, <laughs> given away all the good guns. Yeah, I'm a little tense, Buckfutter. I am. I'm a little, little shrugged up right now. I think I got some shots on him. Go. God damn. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Where'd he go? Oh. Shit. the shotgun. God damn. Oh. Oh. Christ almighty. Oh. Wait, this, this has a scope. How the heck do you use a scope? Oh. God damn, <laughs> fuck. 50 foot penguin. Thank you very much for the sub. That's a large penguin. Yeah, let's let's hit a let's hit a stretch, huh? Oh, middle mouse? Okay. <laughs> you look through it. Mm. Yeah. I am slicked in viscera. Excellent description of my state.
boy. Well, how's everybody doing out there? <laughs> Is it a good Friday going so far? All right, cool. Playing Hitman 3, cool. Ah, oh, God, I gotta play through the Hitman games. Is that the ammo? What's the... So guns on the ground have ammo in them. Does red just mean they're empty? I guess the idea is you're supposed to be... Yeah, okay. Red is an empty gun, and you don't want to pick up an empty gun. So I guess the idea is you'll probably be rotating guns a lot as you play. Burning through ammo, picking up a new one. That makes sense. That's a, that's a cornerstone of stylish gun action. What's up with this gun? Is it covered in blood? It was, yeah. It's cleaned itself. Where? Fantastic. Yeah, what's the deal? Okay, I just wasn't getting close enough to armor. I don't know. I couldn't tell why I wasn't picking it up. Oh, here we go. Okay. They have blue eyes. This is probably fine. Hold your fire. Get inside the chopper 106. We're gonna get you out of here. Thank you, Beard. Good to see you again. Hello. Hello. Just get on in this helicopter. This is Alpha 3, moving into the compound. Yes. Mm, mm. Trap Pang 2. Trap Pang 2. Trap Pang 2. I'm not expecting a fishing minigame, but I wouldn't say no to one. We're only a couple of features shy of perfect game territory. going to be spooky. You want vengeance. So do we. Welcome to Task Force. It might be spooky. I don't think there was a Trepang 1. Oh, Teton, yes, I've heard. I've heard that Starfield will not have fishing. I'm going to be honest, I knew it wouldn't have fishing, but I wanted I wanted Starfield to surprise me. Perhaps that's an unfair desire. Oh, okay. The most obvious hallway is not the one that I walked down, apparently. I have to flip a switch? No. Oh, I have to flip this switch. Well then. Yeah, it's tragic, but I don't know. I'm sure it'll be fine. Sonic Frontier said fishing and that game was bad. I don't know. That sounds like a contradiction. If Sonic Frontiers has fishing, it can't be bad. Those are the rules. Okay. Let's get you properly suited up. Okay. I am getting a... Am I getting my video game protagonist suit? I wonder if it has like... I want it to have tassels. I want some tassels for once. Oh, what? Come on. Really? <laughs> Uh, okay. Can't say I expected this. I feel like white is going to be the most striking. You're one of us now. We have a mission ready for you. Oh. Hmm. You're just about to joke about getting dick kicking shoes? No, I got them. 
Yeah, okay. Let, let's just do this for a while. Maybe that'll maybe that'll uh turn out to be a bad idea at some point. We'll see though. Cause it doesn't feel wrong yet. That's a cool it's a cool VR door. Shoes that are red from all the dick blood of your enemies. Shoes that have been changed throughout their years of service and dick kicking. Beautiful marks they carry with them forever. Do you reckon the odds that we get betrayed? Act fast, I'd say they're pretty high. But then, like, maybe somebody inside the organization is not okay with the betrayal. So, uh, Trip Hang 2 and... Whoever that is, they leave to create their own independent dick-kicking organization. Where did you want me to go? Oh. Select mission. Yeah, toes completely worn away. Maybe, maybe the imprint of a dick. Neatly nestled between the big toe and the second biggest toe. Although that would probably make its effectiveness wear down after a while. You'd have to reinforce it with a strut. Customize appearance, combat simul. IOP, thank you for the sub. 13 months is a very lucky amount of time. All right. Where is Trepang needed next? Oh, I guess I'm gonna go blow up the Pandora Institute. All right. High tech end of life care facility run by Horizon. Our undercover agent, Dr. Emerson successfully infiltrated the facility, but suddenly went silent. Assault the facility with other TF-27 teams, find out what's happening, and rescue Dr. Emerson if possible. So is this- I think this is kind of like- this might be set up like, um... GTFO. I think the level's- well, there's campaign and side missions. Yeah, I'm curious how this is gonna- let's see what happens. It said there was a horde mode. And I don't know if the campaign and horde mode blend together. If the campaign is like a series of horde mode matches. I guess we'll see. Like I said, I, I know very little about this game. Although apparently it has tomahawks, that's pretty cool. Rat bombs, oh no! How extreme. How gritty and extreme. That's kind of cool. Okay. That's cool. Ooh, Starship Troopers got an update. What's uh what's going on there? What'd they add? I mean, yeah. I murdered hundreds of dudes. I can turn invisible and put my brain into Matrix time. Yeah, game that lets you unfold the stock. I didn't even really know that that's how it worked. That's really cool. Mounted gun for this? Here. Okay. Diddle, 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 diddle. Phil Spencer just swore under oath that he won't take Call of Duty off the PS5. Oh, this is so cool. Freaking medical care facility with anti air turrets.
Oh, there he goes. That was a little cruel, wasn't it? Indiana Junkins. <laughs> Thanks for the sub. Uh, I'm glad that you're on board. I think gaming forgot how to be extreme. Luckily, Trepang 2 is here to remind everybody of what really matters in gaming. Oh, okay. They even show you the mist or the, the total lore. To all security personnel, uh, cell phone and camera policy for guests and press. All guests and press must surrender cell phones and cameras upon entering the facility. Only authorized guests and press are allowed on the facility. Ensure all individuals are on the approved list and do not allow non-expected visitors. Guests and press can only access authorized areas. Ensure they do not enter any top secret areas. Okay. There was no trip bang one, no. But they didn't need to they didn't need to make a one. We all know about Trepang. Find me one gamer that doesn't know everything there is to know about Trepang. Dude, he's, he's, he saw me. Wow, okay. Where'd that grenade go? Can you just hold these dudes forever? Oh, that's so sick though! Damn! I love all the one-handed gun shit. Oh my god. Yeah, sub sub with heating up. Double foot drop kick for double dick destruction. What if you could spread your legs apart and kick two dudes in the dick and backflip off of them? and then shoot them in the dick as you flip away. Oh, gave me a little, little power up. Maybe the spread shot? Breach charges, oh hell yeah, dude. You have to have slow-mo breach and clear, otherwise it's not the aughts. <laughs> Click on the heads time, let's do it. Oh, I'm, my zoom button wasn't charged up.
Okay, so they have to be stunned. My pleasure. I hate these guys for whatever reason. Mr. Peng 2 is superhuman. Yes. Well, there was some audio log about me as a, like a as a test subject and my ability to turn invisible um, and superhuman strength. So. Yeah, it's a thing. It's acknowledged in universe that you are you are superhuman. those grenade throws. Where the heck are you? John Trapang Halo? Yes. He's the best of all of them. Hasn't said a word yet. Probably never will. Does the suit jerk him off? No, he doesn't need a suit to jerk him off. He jerks himself off all while shooting a bunch of guys. Damn. Oh, look, my, my boys are flying in. All right. Get him! Tear him up! Yeah, Bright Memory? Yeah, I, I kind of... I was talking about that earlier, too. Very reminiscent of that game. Definitely not a bad thing, because I like Bright Memory a lot. Throw him. Oops. Where? Well, found another one? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be hard to get the blood out of this, huh? That's fine, it's not my problem. I make enough money I can pay for a good uh good dry cleaner. The dry cleaner that's next to the good Starbucks, not the bad one. Slide it through reminds you crisis too. You know, it's funny, I was thinking the, the like, toggling of modes feels a lot more like Crisis. But yeah, I guess, I guess you did a lot of grabbing of dudes in Crisis. The hell? Oh, is this, uh, backers? Laser gate. I'm going 
Is your name on there? I, I didn't back this game, presuming that that's what that is. I don't even know. a somber area. I feel a sense of calm resolution. Damn, bro. Didn't have to be like that. Didn't have to go down that way. Okay. I can suppress my shotgun, finally. Nice. <laughs> How stealthy. Until here, we have an incident in the Oasis Towers. Turn on AA guns, lock all elevators, activate laser gates. Do not let anyone or anything in or out of Oasis Towers until further notice. Man, there's like 20 lore pickups in this level. Either I've missed tons and tons, or this is, this is gonna be really long. Yeah, max powers. There's been no real horror elements so far. There's not there's not been any spooky hallways. It's mostly just crazed ex extreme new metal gunfights. All right, boys. There's plenty of opportunity for things to go spooky at some point. Waiting for it to go off. I'm a little bit scared, actually. Actually, yeah. Switch to a rifle. Bless America. <laughs> oh man. Just the comedic timing of it. Can't get any better. Oh. Yeah, that dude is in the shadow realm for sure. For a couple of lifetimes. Oh wow. Okay. I'll catch my breath a little bit. Yeah, okay, so the big dudes actually drop health. No pretense here. When dudes die, armor and health just pop out of them. 
land on the floor for you to pick up. Guess I gotta find a switch to turn this off. We got a clever environmental puzzling. Here we go. Series of complicated interactions to navigate to my desired location. Oops. <laughs> oops. Clock that one on oops. Put it on the board. Mark it down. That's an oops. How far back? It oh, no way. No, man. Oh, bro. There's no checkpoint past this room. All right. All right. Stealth seems kind of pointless, unless I'm just really not using it right or something. Oh, speedy boy! Whoa! I think I'm ready to rebind some of these some of these items. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! It very is much like as soon as as soon as they see you, all hell breaks loose. There's a lot of intensity to it. Heck are you guys? There you go. What are you doing, man? Alright. Yeah, that's that's pretty bullet storm, isn't it? Yeah, happy birthday, America. Uh, uh, okay, I have to not hit a tripwire mine now. Actually, let me let me fiddle with some of the options. I got a I got a better feel for it now. Dual wield. There's been a dual wield this whole time, and I haven't been using it. Of course, there is. Uh, how do I how do I clear a bind? Oh, hold on. Let's see. Just do it like this. Oh, wait. That. Oh, look at all these cheats, though. Big head mode! Oh! <laughs> I see it. Speaking of golden eye. Okay, I guess I just have to shuffle them around one at a time like a slide puzzle. I'm gonna get to those binds, though. I will. So, grenade. Grenade is middle mouse. Yeah. Now I also have a mouse five. Ooh, witch hunter. Thank you very much for the sub. 99 months and a sub is definitely one of the months I'm doing the thing right. I agree. They're almost to the big triple. I should, I should dedicate songs for triple years. I used to do that. Bruce, thanks for the raid. Hello, gooses. I think Bruce raided me before and I got to shut him out. forgot to shut him out, so I'm doing it this time. Bruce Green picked a good day. Do shoutouts not exist anymore? <laughs> Maybe they don't. Okay, there we go. Got it that time. 
Hey, hey, gooses. Uh, y'all picked a really good day to watch the stream. If I do, if I do say so myself. Check it out. Oh, I need serum first. Anyway, this game is rad and sick. It's both extreme and I, I already said sick, but I'm gonna upgrade that to sick nasty with a little hyphen in the middle. Yeah, this one's this one's pretty wild. Uh, I have to not die here though. Where'd you go? Hey. Is that it? All right then. Okay, now the now oh, that's interesting. The button prompts didn't adjust. Okay, I'll have to adjust. Is this the new fear? I mean, yeah, it's it's. I think it's heavily based on fear. You can kind of tell that from some things. It doesn't really have the spooky hallways though. So, it's got the ridiculous action. Uh, oh yeah, there's there's one super super rad move. I may not be able to do it here because uh, the ceilings are a bit lower. But hold on, let me see if I can. <laughs> God, I just got ground up in there. But yeah, you can like double leg drop a dude and backflip off of him. It's probably going to kick me all the way. No, wow, there was a checkpoint here. Okay. Literally couldn't see a thing game of the year. Uh, yeah, that might be an issue. Uh, the bitrate. This is not a bitrate friendly game, I'm sure of it. Whoa. a little bit fiddly with the controls, but I'm figuring it out. Oh. They see me here. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of guys. God damn. Boy, that was a bad idea. Maybe I got away with it. Trying to remember the buttons, man. Killed someone important there. Yeah, there's like there's like mini bosses that that spawn. I guess it's good to have that. Oh, Jesus. God, that's a lot of stuff. I can't I can't see shit. Oh man. Every time I think I'm almost sighted up on somebody. Ah. Jesus Christ. Man, I'm getting worked right now. Play some Subnautica. You got it. You got it. Subnautica coming right up. 
Just hang, hang around. I'll be getting to Subnautica real soon here. God damn it. Ugh. God damn. Okay. I didn't get him. Holy cow. I keep missing. Oh, the AI is good. Dude, dude. Ugh. Okay. I got past this fight before. Anyway, how's the beginning of everybody's weekend going already? Oh. I want to grab him. There we go. That's a grenade now. God, I don't know where they are. Are they all in here? Or are they hidden? Oh. These dudes are all so tactical. God damn. I can't handle how tactical they are. Jesus Christ. Once you get cornered, you're kind of effed. Ah. Uh, that was, okay, that was a bad shot. That was me being a bad shot. Trepang needs a break. God. This gameplay is a bit lame, but hopefully I'll be back to murder in classy style soon. Ah, uh, Jesus. Okay. Yes, supply drop, please. Give me goodies. What was that? What did I pick up? Ah, ah. Hello, boys. He needs wall run? Oh, they might have wall run. Stumbling through all these bodies. Alright. Thanks. Thanks, fellas. Teamwork makes the dream work. You know I'm always saying that. Alright, whatever. Isn't this where I was supposed to go? Hmm. With all respect, sir, there's no need to worry about us. I really am not. I promise I'm not. Yeah, it says objectives over here. Oh man. I wonder if there's some kind of trigger that was supposed to get a hit. It's just the door. Oh, breach charge. I couldn't see it. Welcome to the Flora Institute. 
leave. It took a lot of guts for you volunteers to sign up here. And for that, you have my gratitude. Countless lives will be saved because of your selflessness. Hmm. Is it stealth time? Ah, all right. Jakes. Oh, Jakes. I'm glad uh I'm glad you're here. Uh although let me let me lean into this real quick. Have you heard the rumor going around about butter? Why wow, what's what's going on with butter? Tell me about it. Tell me all about it. I shouldn't spread it. Ha! Ha ha! Ah, so um hold on a second. Uh, let me check something here, because you have a card. You have a card that I was I wanted to mail to you. Oh, okay, never mind. You, you sent me an updated address. Okay, never mind. Let me, let me update my records real quick. Okay, great. Never mind. Uh, about everything that could have gone wrong to delay me shipping things out has gone wrong. <laughs> the Postal Service website froze up for like hours. Uh, then when I finished my all of my shipping labels, it just threw a generic error and I had to delete like half of them to make it work. And now my printer won't print. Even though it has enough black ink, it needs a yellow cartridge in there or it just refuses to do anything. So I gotta wait for a new printer to show up because I'm tired of this shit. Uh, I'm gonna get a, a laser printer because I, I'm gonna. I feel like I want to ship more things out. So I just I'm tired of dealing with the printer I have. Anyway, Docs360, thanks for gifting a sub to Void Cat. Appreciate you. All oh, right, this is how I came in. I have a brother laser color printer. I got a laser black and white, because I'm just gonna use it for printing labels. Get a, it might get a little more spooky down in the basement. There might be DNA horror monsters. Biological abominations. One zero six. End of the hour. I'll get that elevator unlocked for you. Thank you, Ghost Two. I got it. Appreciate it. According to the schematics, this elevator is going to take you straight to the basement. Mm -hmm. It's probably flooded with grunts right now, but that shouldn't be a problem for a super soldier. I got to get back to my team. Good luck. Happy midsummer. Happy midsummer, everyone. Yeah, I guess, I guess if I think about it, the prospect of seeing 
Mark Zuckerberg beat Elon Musk's ass is fairly gratifying. They'll give everybody what they want. I couldn't help but think about, so the, it's kind of spooky. This is kind of scary. That movie Gladiator, whatever Caesar that Joaquin Phoenix was portraying was a real, was a real Caesar. But, you know, the real character was a bit different than in the film. But I remember reading about it. And that Caesar would fight in the Colosseum. And people thought it was, like, tacky. That, uh, the leader of their country was just, like, fighting just for the ego of it. It was considered an honor to be killed by, by Caesar. Don't understand people's boiling hatred of Musk. I mean, he's an asshole. <laughs> He's just a fucking cock. Uh, and also, he's he's being very he's being louder and louder about some very dangerous political shit. It looks like a security lockdown is in effect. We need to find a way to disable it. He called a dude who wanted to save a bunch of kids a pedo because he didn't like he didn't coddle him. I mean, from from that point on, I was like, oh wow, he's just a child. Okay. It's not actually about anything, it's about his ego. So... That was the... like, every every person has a moment where they show you who they are. And people are really good at ignoring that. I don't know, it's weird. Man, the lights, the lights and colors in here are awesome. Yeah, this is getting a bit spooky. This is getting a little fearier. A little bit. What's up, Elso? But yeah, and I can't argue with it being for a good a good cause. That's fine. I will take I will take assholes begging for attention all day, as long as it has some material positive benefit in the end. So, cool. More power. I feel like you would have to share the same hatred of every single pe per person on earth if kept to that standard. You're allowed you're allowed to selectively be mad at people when they're very loud about being idiots. <laughs> you don't have to feel one thing towards one thing and then extrapolate that feeling out to the entire planet at all times. There's no like feelings don't work that way. You don't have to eat a sandwich and then think, gosh, what would it feel like to eat all of the sandwiches all right now? Yes, there's a lot to this world that's that's beyond the scope of an individual life, but that's why you have to react and, and judge what's right in front of you. You have to you have to judge what you see or what people tell you. He could have also kept his mouth shut at any of these positions and and stayed out of that line of perception. Nah, people. I think I wonder if it's. I don't know. I've known people that get like executive brain disease where there's I guess it's just being surrounded by yes men really. You think you think that you have special brain because people are nice to you all day and tell you that your your ideas are good. Lockdown sequence aborted. Do you want to eat all the sandwiches cuz a ton of people make really shit sandwiches? Mmm. Why be so critical? The world is just a generally fucked up place. Because... Because when people are annoying, it's okay to use social social nuance to make them shut up. That's how it's done. If you can't live in a world where everybody ignores everything else everyone else does, there there has to be a boundary. And it's not a it's not a logical one, it's not a mathematical one. Oh, I'm, I might be playing Final Fantasy 16 in a minute here. 
Never you, never you worry. Anyway. Yeah, also, like, when people... When people elect themselves into being information bottlenecks and then start to control that, that flow of information while accusing other people of doing it, like, that's not good. That actually goes to very bad spots. So, like, there is, there is also a... You have to see the warning signs before it develops into a full-blown shit. Oh, okay. But I understand. There's, uh, I understand the frustration at... ...people being frustrated about stuff they can just look away from. I mean, to be honest, it reminds me of the Tyler the Creator thing, right? Cyberbullying isn't real, just close your eyes. I think what also happens is like, when somebody gets to that level of notoriety, then people form opinions and assumptions about them that, you know, have nothing to do with that person, but everybody's got a, everybody's got an opinion and, oh. And to a level, and to some level, a lot of that might be projection. Oh, he's turning into a meat man. Oh! We got acid barfing... mutoid men. That was rad. Whoa! <laughs> a little too rad, baby. <laughs> Little Fourth of July action. We're just warming up. Super cool. Man, I remember taking screenshots of all the silly, uh. What is. Is that the end of the level? It must be. Huh. All the silly, uh, vending machines and things. Anyway, yeah, to some degree. The best solution is to just look the other way. That's, I mean, to be honest, that's what I'm annoyed about. I, I muted his ass on Twitter. I, I like told every algorithm to not feed me a headlines about it. And yet still, worming its way back in. Vector. But kind of like a lot of people are saying in chat, I have my opinion. I don't need people to agree with me, though. If you have no opinion or if you like the guy, that's kind of weird, but... You're allowed to do that, I guess. I don't know. I think he's also just like... For me, at least, there's... I, if I'm honest with myself, there's a lot of shitty, shitty boss projection. I've worked for some uh, egotistical, but know nothing assholes that really like to swing their rightness around. Yeah. Just found a fun accessory in 16. I'm thinking I might be to the part where items start to be cool. Want to know what it does? Not yet. No. Horizon has developed a dilution protocol for Pandorium to be administered to patients while minimizing its detrimental effects. Whoa, Pandorium? Oh man, initial world results were astounding, with all subjects showing significant improvement in their health and acceleration of their healing process. However, as the experiments continued, it was discovered that Pandorium had a detrimental effect on the subject's mental state, causing them to experience hallucinations and becoming increasingly aggressive. Frickin' Pandorium? That's the best. Also, the wild. Thank you very much for the sub. And yes, indeed, let's go, gamers. Let's go, gamers. Oh, Pandorium. Here it is. Like Pandora's box. Get it? Get it? The discovery of a new organic biomaterial has the potential to revolutionize the en energy industry. This biomaterial, designated Pandorium, is derived from organic resources and has the ability to consume and convert a wide range of organic matter to a highly efficient and stable source of energy. 
Pandorium has also the added benefit of being able to clean up and neutralize a wide array or a wide range of hazardous materials, making it a valuable tool in the field of environmental cleanup. Field. Field. Furthermore, preliminary testing has shown that Pandorium has the potential to be used in the medical field as well. It has been observed to have a healing effect on wounds and accelerate the repair of damaged tissue. Sounds great. Sounds like there won't be a single negative consequence of going bananas on that. Captain, what? You said you were a little drunk on something. What's that? What beverage have you been sipping on? Akvavit? Ooh. Hold on. Where'd the... Where'd the browser go? Browser. Ah. Still from grain or potatoes? Scandinavia? Alright. Spices and herbs? Drunk as an aperitif. A single gulp from a small shot glass. Is that how you consumed it, Captain? Malort? It seems like it's not as intense Malort, maybe. Maybe sweeter. Let's see here. Unaged Aquavit is clear, while aged is pale straight. Dominant flavors, caraway or dill, sometimes both. Huh, fennel? Okay. Cardamom, cumin, anise, coriander. Those those kind of make more sense. I guess that would make it more gin-like. Hmm. Like 20 glasses? Nice. Well, it's like liquor, yeah. It's barely, it's almost 40%. That's a minimum? You. I don't mind Malort. It's like, it's, it's kind of to me. Oh yes, they have food. They have crazy pictures of food. It is fear. I still have the like, I, th I still have to pick the screenshots of the fear billboards of food and stuff. Oh, look at that disgustingly high res cheese mud cake. I gotta look this up now. Hold on. Sorry, Akvavit. I'm... People have been drinking it for centuries, but I'm gonna Google, uh... What the hell? Okay. Fear of vending machine. No, that's not quite right. Here we go. Yeah. Diet squish. Professor Doctor. <laughs> I love ostentatious fake brands of stuff. Oh, now we're just into fear dudes. Professor. Doctor. Doctor. Professor. Alright, we got a lot of goo now. What? You're just dropping in? Oh my god! Docs 360 gifting 25 subs. Docs, are you are are you losing it? You're not. We know you're not. Thank you for investing in Law Dog Productions. Ah! Yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. Ah. Uh. I really wanted to see a slow-mo explosion of a ton of these dudes. Oh, wait, did one of the reviews 
did one of the reviews equip all the assists for Final Fantasy 16? I thought it was just like a tweet or something. I don't know. I don't know, man. Two men are there out here? The dill is because you drink it with potatoes, herring, pickled in various ways, like a mustardy thing, and an oniony thing, and a Skarsgård thing, which is like a mayo, lemon, fish egg chive dill and some proper homemade meatballs is a good mix i could see that i could see that the alcohol is kind of like kind of like vinegar i think we'll ever see another fear game that's a good question i don't know who owns the rights to fear now maybe uh maybe got swept up in the, all the embracer acquisitions which is kind of bad news God bless ragdolls. And God bless you, Docs360. Thank you for gifting a bunch of subs. You've given the the beauty, the treasure, the majesty of uh, ad-free viewing to 25 individuals for an entire month. But you know what's cool? And I just, I actually, I think I tweeted about this, but well, I don't think I, I know I did. But uh, I finally saw that Twitch updated their documentation about Twitch Turbo. Promising that if you don't see ads because of Twitch Turbo, they do they do tabulate that towards ad revenue for people. So that's cool. Don't have to feel bad about signing up for that. I've reached the point that I stop bothering to care if tweets or other anecdotes are real or not. I just let my initial reactions roll with it because what I think one way or the other doesn't really matter. So if something makes me laugh, sure it's real, real enough to make me laugh at it. Yeah, I uh, yes, I think that's kind of what's necessary to see things on the internet now. Which is tricky. I feel like that means you have to sort of erect barriers between the domain of what you see on the internet and what you think happens in the real world or informs your real world view. Maybe to some degree that's not possible to do. Kind of like if you watch a lot of TV, it's natural that that's probably going to seep into your expectations of the real world or something like that. So I wonder about that. That's, uh, hmm. It's good that the internet isn't fully real, because it's not. Don't make me do this. Do what, Barney? What are you- what are you gonna do, Barney? What are you- what are you gonna do? But thank you for the cheer. Act fast. Who says it wouldn't be a horror game if there wasn't a... room or hall of goopy flesh hung from the walls and floor? Yeah, I wonder if we're gonna get on- get into full-on Doom 3... intestines and stuff. Pulsating. Hope so, that's always fun. Some goopy goops. Man, that's a fun shotgun. I do like this shotgun a lot. Oh, 
<laughs> All right. I was I was enjoying a moment of calm. Bat monster. Oh, I'm deep in a guts cave now. Oh shit. Rannick. Thank you very much for uh for the cheer. Pro there's probably no way in hell we heard it, but I'll uh I'll play it back here in a minute. And Docs. Thank you for gifting another sub. Oh, I forgot how to slide. There's a whole button for that. Damn, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Got out of Stinky Town. Yeah, I imagine the bitrate was not too fond of that sequence. There was a lot of smoke and haze and flashy lights. He's dead. There's nothing we can do for him. Pick up his flash drive. The heck? What are these tokens all about? Your next objective is to destroy the subject. Horizon's gone too far. We can't let this thing escape. The bat? I've got a plan. Arm up. You'll be going down to the reactors next. I want to. Do you really think it is just a John Wick thing? WB has fear. Gotcha. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Odd games publisher. WB. Oh, here we go. Go around this way. Go into good door, not bad door. Okay. Freaking suppressor. Actually, here, I'll, I'll unfold the stock. Let's try it. It's such a smooth gun now. Oh yeah, let's uh let's hear that Barney line again. I thought they were a little quiet. No, don't kill me. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, maybe I can get more. Okay. Good. Don't worry. I won't kill you, Barney. On purpose. We need to overload them. The explosion should be large enough to destroy this facility and the subject along with it. Experimental bioreactors. Okay. Overload them. You got it. This is kind of spooky. There you go. See you after the experiment. Oh. I mean, Barney's okay for now, but experiments don't go good for Barney. Another cunning environmental puzzle. Get those laser gates turned on ASAP. Just heard from the eggheads. If one of those things gets inside a reactor, this whole place is going up in flames. Those damn eggheads. What do they know? Freaking scientists thinking they're smarter than me? I'll drink all the bleach I want. Can't tell me nothing. Yeah, locked his backwards. <laughs> okay, here we go. Looks like they're highly unstable. I've got an idea. It's a bit unusual, but it just might work. Find any infected personnel, throw them into the Awesome.
There's a, there's a mini game around tossing dudes into a reactor. Ah, Captain Sverga just said Trump was right in chat. Watch out, everybody. Watch out. Careful around this guy. Whoa, okay. A lot of gun crates around. I guess I have to knock them all out. Oh, Captain, I'm I'm joking. Or sorry, Docs, I'm just kidding. We're just we're just having a goof. Alright, and then it's Whoa, oh my god. God damn, okay. Okay, we might live longer if we work together. Yeah, why not? Thank you for the cheer, Digital Melancholy. You can drink bleach and it'd kill Corona. <laughs> but it'd also kill the drinker. Yeah, technically right. It does kill Corona. The best kind of right. Technically right. Damn it, I need water. Yeah. Don't want to leave video game. I need fluid. So you have to bop them, and then you can grab them. Bop, grab, throw. Oh, you only do... Okay. Bop. Nope. Bop. Grab. Give it a bop. Give it a bop. Give it a bop. Throw it. That is loud. Bop. Bop. Oh, tired. What? The Mothman is here. There's a cheer there. Hold on. Wait, what? Oh. Doc's gifted a sub. Thank you. Walter Mitty's secret channel. Thanks for gifting a sub. I'll bet that stings a bit. Yeah, a little bit. Not too much, though. Thanks for the gifts, y'all. You've started a hype train. A hype train. Oh. Everyone's talking about those hype trains. It's so hot right now. Gotta wait for the elevator. Fight the Mothman! Death by keys! What? Gifting 10 subs. And NB gifting 5 subs. What is going on? Hey guys, thank you! Oh! Huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That reminds me. Um, shucks, you, you're already kind of most of the way there. But I was gonna say, since tonight is a, uh, it's a media tech night. Oh! He barfed on me! Blah, 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 blah. Oh. <laughs> um, I think I think tonight's a good time to implement the uh, sub goal for Media Tech till next stream incentive. Ah! Ow! 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 Okay. I'm already like half the way there. I need to add up the subs since I started streaming. I think a hundred is the goal, but like. Pretty much already there. Has anyone made a media keck joke? Oh no. That is a good idea though. That's right, Anton Lazar. 
I sweat you. You were never supposed to be a weapon. Horizon survivors now. We'll arrive momentarily. Cammy, I did know it's Sonic's birthday today because I watched the Sonic Central. Picking up a signal from I also learned that there's going to be a Sonic birthday pop-up in LA downtown tomorrow starting at noon. And there's a rogue shirt that I really, really, really want to get. So, uh, I'm going to try to go down there and get one of those. Call him by his name. What, Ogilvy Maurice Hedgehog? Oh, I should have a, I should have a hot dog, dude. Yeah, we have hot dog stuff. Raven's on his way now to pick you up first. He'll see you at the helipad. I feel so happy for Sonic. I always do, but I especially do now. I bet he's having a great birthday today. Awesome. Oh, he turned him into goo monsters. What? Ah. Oh, I didn't want that at all. <laughs> no, he's really the Mothman. Mm hmm. So I guess this is. It must be like. It's like SCP, but fear. Like an extreme shooter where you're fighting creepy crawly dudes. Whoa, okay, yeah, you really, really, really are not allowed to stand in that. Oh, okay. Mothman destroyed. Ducks! Oh my god, dude. 50 subs? I didn't even know you could do that. Alright, well, you know what? There, that's it. Screw it. Sub incentive achieved, I guess. Thank you. Thank you very much. 100 is max still. That's a lot of... Wait, hold on. Wait. I'm gonna pause. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm looking at my memes. That really doesn't get better than that. Oh, Cup Ninjas redeemed a gamer stretch. Very good. Quite good. Let me, let me wrap up this level. Let's do a little gamer stretch. This is Have to fight the helicopter? No, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll probably switch to Final Fantasy 16 in a minute here. Docs, I'm curious. What are the games that you like? Oh, you're, you're going now? All right, all right. Don't mean to hold you up then. <sighs> really appreciate your generosity. Thank you for giving um, ad-free viewing to lots of people. And also ensuring that MediaTek will roll until the next time I stream, which is going to be Saturday, but still. You played Severed Steel. Uh, I think only a little bit? That, yeah, that's the one where you can like backflip off of walls and you can like aim behind yourself and stuff. I'm gonna go do some squats over here. Open up my hips.
Woo. Heard that one? Yep. Get those gunshot knee pops going off. That's good though. I think. It does feel like I've gotten to the point where stretching does feel good. It's like it's like itching. It's like scratching. Scratching my joints. All my tendons that get like to get all tight about nothing. Thought there'd be secrets up here. Where are my secrets? Oh, uh, Reese, you want to play this yourself? And you don't want to get spoiled? Yeah, I'm just going to poke around in the base a little bit, and then I think I'm going to swap it up. Go back to Final Fantasy 16. Which might be something else you don't want spoiled, so I don't know if that helps. Tried to show the kids I work with proper squat, and I got halfway down and farted. I'll be firing myself into the sun later. I mean, I bet it was a hit with the kids. I bet that slayed. I'm thinking about it and it's kind of funny. How many elevators? Wait, what's going on? Oh, son of a bitch. What's up there? Um. Chekhov's nuke. Alright. Go back to the briefing room. That's where Alma is. Yeah, given the SCP nature of things, I'm like, what? Did they capture some kind of entity that's powering the whole building? Ooh, I received a level 3 hype train emote. Very nice. Thank you, everyone. They wanted me to go to the briefing room, though. Oh, maybe I skipped, accidentally skipped a cutscene or something. Maybe I should have done that. She's not telling you everything. Oh, somebody's passing me messages. Or perhaps they're trying to influence me away from, oh. Oh, okay, no, it's fine. Yeah, the ending of Fear 2 was pretty rad. I remember playing that and being like a little confused about what just happened. And then once it sunk in, I was like, damn, that's pretty brutal. I wonder if... <clears throat> I wonder if that's going to cause any waves. But no. I think anybody who would have... <clears throat> God damn it. Anybody who would have raised any waves about it probably didn't finish Fear 2. Oh, there are side missions? That's cool. Iron Data Dragon Center. Oh, oh, you have to click the dot, all right. Okay, I mean, that kind of looks like the building I was just in. Maybe they, they spin up some environments for you to run around in. Let me try this. Hack servers. Hack servers, hmm. Yeah, here, I'll, uh... That's why I lower the, the volume sometimes. It's really nice as a background sound, but it has to be mastered as such. So, yeah, it's just, like, really in the background. Maybe I need... Oh, God. Maybe I need two different audio levels for... Subs and cheers. Cheers have to be nice and present and loud. Actually, I think I might be able to do that. Okay, 
Let's let's switch it up. It's Final Fantasy time. It's Final Fantasy time. I'm excited to get back on that game. Uh, I didn't really play it anymore. Oh, oh, infinite stamina. Okay. NPCs respawn as jiggly bit jiggly boys. NPCs respawn as jiggly boys. I want to see what I want to see the jiggly boys. Look at all these amazing cheats, though. Super helmets. NPC grenade on spam. Or on death. Ugh. Clumsy enemies. Oh, imagine the enemies flip flopping and trip tropping everywhere. <sighs> Squeaky voices. Insane gore. Worry, darling, I'm right beside. I heard that. Kinda. Hail to the York. Thank you very much for the sub. Cheer. Dang it. There were so many subs that I got sub brain. I got beef brain for a second there. Thank you for the cheer, though. I'm glad that Barney's always right behind me. Uh, okay. I'm gonna swap over... Yeah, you unlock cheats as you play. If you hover over it, it says what you have to do to unlock it, which is pretty cool. Or gives you a hint, at least. That's really fun. That's playful. Uh, what relatively serious game had NPC physics where they'd eat shit over their own corpses? Uh, Minority Report. The Minority Report beat em up had wacky ragdolls, and it was awesome. Uh... GTA? Kinda? That's kinda it. Max Payne 2? A little bit. Alright, Final Fantasy time. That's right. They made the final fantasy. I'll be back very soon. And thanks everybody for watching. I'm having a great Friday. Hope y'all are too.